Hello and welcome to Build On Ideas Institute of Designing and this is Six and Sunny. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to use curve modeling in Blender 2.8 for architectural visualization. In order to do that, I am going to use two add-ons which have made the life so easy in Blender 2.8 to create curve modeling. So those two add-ons are a Flexi Draw Bezier, the Flexi Edit Bezier, which is available in the Bezier Utilities add-on, which is available free from the net, as well as the Add Curve Extra Objects available in the bundle of uh, Blender 2.8, just have to activate it. So these are the two add-ons, I'll just go into detail. So these two add-ons have made uh, the architectural visualization or maybe the curve editing in uh, Blender 2.8 a lot easier. So first I'll show add curve extra objects add-on. Uh, if you start the blender and then start adding a curve into this, you just see only these many options and if you just have one option to start drawing a, a curve. So add a bezier and then you can see only this is available as a starting point. And if you start extruding one point, you just see something which is happening here and then you just can't do anything with this. This is a beginner's problem and you can you feel very much annoyed about this. So is there any other method? That's what I'm going to show. So this add-on. If you just add this preference, go into preferences and then add add curve extra. That is extra. If you type extra here, you can see that add curve extra objects is coming. So just take it and what happens is your life is changed go to curves you have all these options available so you have a circle you have uh, some ellipse you have a line point polygon rectangle uh, segment a lot of options are available right now to create uh, this uh, curve editing so the favorite in this for me is point and point helps us a lot in starting up uh, this is a starting point from where I start my uh, curve modeling in architecture visualization so in order to do this, I'm just going into uh, a demonstration of a pillar. What I'm going to do is like, uh, I'll do a precision modeling in order to do that. I'm just adding uh, a cube into this and then I'm just making its dimensions uh, into 24 centimeters in X, 24 centimeters in Y and 210 centimeters in uh, Z direction. And then what I'm going to do is like go into edit mode, select everything and then grab it to a position where uh, you can see that uh, the, the origin point is just below that. Now, this is only a reference point to have the dimensions ready. Now, what I'm going to do is like uh, I'll just uh, start with in y direction. I'll just go into y direction and then come here, go into x ray mode, and then just go into curves and then add a point. Now this point comes in this this point, this 3D cursor point. Go to the edit mode, select this point and then start extruding. So how do you do that? Just extrude in X direction I am doing it. I am just creating it uh, in this point and then I am just extruding it. So now you can see that it is going only in X and Y direction, it is not going in Z direction. So you just have to go to curves and then make it 3D and then grab it, you have it in 3D. So I'm just uh, deleting this vertex now and then I'm just going into this, I'm just grabbing it slightly here. And then uh, next point, I'm just creating a small in, in Z direction, a small point. And then what I'm going to do is like, we have different options uh, for this curve editing in order to go into the different options or uh, how to handle the nature of the handle or the way the handles can be handled uh, we just click on B as a shortcut and you can see that there are too many options uh, like automatic vector aligned and free so in this uh, vector is helpful to create straight lines aligned helps us to have the handles in opposite direction constraint uh, the free it behaves in such a way that one handle can, uh, can be freely more modified uh, by keeping the other handle uh, still. Uh, I'll just go into automatic now uh, for the time being just to show the dem demonstrate the, uh, the, the way it is done. So I'll just select uh, this and then I'm just clicking on extrude. You can see that it is it is going in a flow. 
and now I'll just click here I'm just uh, creating the point next point here and then I'll just have uh, I'll just uh, click here and now I'll just have a vector and then a straight line like this and then again I'll just have one more vector here and then I'll just create a, uh, an automatic and then I'm just uh, extruding it again now I'll just have a dip just like this a dip here as well now I'm just going in this direction and then I'm just going up I've come half the way I'm giving one more dip here uh, but before that I'm just uh, deleting that vertex I think I'll select this and then uh, again V and then vector I want uh, small dip here in straight points just like that and then again V and then automatic and then again I'm just going up just like that so you can see the shape coming up and then again um, a small okay I make it a vector again extrude again extrude again just like that make it uh, automatic extrude extrude just like that extrude here extrude 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 and extrude so we have come to a point I just uh, make this vertex uh, vector and then I just finish off so this is basically the shape of pillar now now I have the shape you can see that uh, the shape is somewhat okay it's somewhat okay uh, I should say it is just somewhat because okay the shape is ready now I'll just make it as a pillar in order to do that I'll just go into uh, the modify add modifier called screw and that creates a pillar so you can see the pillar very much I'll just remove the box behind I'll just move it in next direction for the time being the pillar is ready in order to make it slightly smoother go to the steps and then increase it slightly it makes it more smoother so this is the pillar shape the second add-on which I'm going to explain is the Bessier Utilities which is very much available free of cost in uh, in the internet so I'm giving the download link in the description you can download it free of cost uh, so you can just go into the description and uh, click on the link so the second add-on which I'm going to explain is the Flexi Draw Bezier tool uh, there is, this is an add-on just go into the preferences you can see this tool which is there uh, just click on the Bezier Utilities so just click tick on this so in order to tick this what you do is like install file from uh, download the link uh, and then what you do is like go into uh, I have it in the add-on so just you have that blender Bezier Utilities master so go into that and then click on this to install it from the file and then you have this tick on this and then the, ad the add-on is activated so I'm just moving the uh, one I've created using extra objects so just select that and I'm just moving it in next direction I'm just keeping it here now I'll just create something using that uh, flexi draw bezier tool what happened when I just clicked on this is that you have two uh, tools extra available here you can see that when I when I ticked it these two are added here so I'm just going into that and then click here flexi draw bezier tool and then start drawing so click here I'm just uh, starting the drawing now click here and then click here and then I'm just going to create the same kind of a pillar it's not exactly the same but uh, it's a similar one just go and then uh, come here uh, similar here and then click here and then come here and then have a projection here and you have all the shapes just like that and then click here click on enter you have the shape ready slight editing can be done using the flexi edit tool and then click on here and then start uh, just 
start moving the way you want it this is the flexi edit tool just like that you start editing and shaping things and then moving it into the position you want here also if you want you can just uh, slightly move it just like that so you have the shape ready uh, just move this as well just move it just like that you can have it here okay so basically a similar shape is ready now uh, what you do is like go into this and then select this and then again add a screw modify you just have this pillar ready so if you want slight modifications go into that and then just select this and then move it if you want this to be here this to be here this to be here it's quite easy you can see that yeah so this is how it is done basically a similar shape is created in this so you can see that uh, I'll just move move the box to the side a similar kind of pillar is ready in this as well hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial kindly subscribe our channel and click on the notification link thank you